friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about the closure properties of context free languages first property is if l1 and l2 are two context free languages then their union that is l1 union l2 is also a context free language it means context free languages are closed under union now suppose there is a context free language L1 whose grammar is G1 and there is another context free language L2 whose grammar is G2. G1 is defined by the quadruple V1, T1, P1, S1 and G2 is defined by the quadruple V2, T2, P2, S2. Now since L1 and L2 are context free languages their union that is L1 union L2 will also be a context free language. Now we have to define its grammar. Now suppose GU is the grammar of L1 union L2, right? And it is defined by the quadruple VU, TU, PU, SU. Now see, we have to define this grammar GU, right? Now for this, set V1 and V2, right? They should be disjoint. V1 is the set of variables of grammar G1. V2 is the set of variables of grammar G2. These two sets should be disjoint. If they are not disjoint, then rename the variables to make them disjoint. Right. Now, in grammar GU, VU will contain all variables of grammar G1 and all variables of grammar G2 and a variable SU which is the start symbol of grammar GU. TU will contain all terminals of grammar G1 and all terminals of grammar G2. So TU is equal to T1 union T2. PU will contain all productions of grammar G1 and all productions of grammar G2 and these production SU derives S1 and SU derives S2 where S1 is the start symbol of grammar G1, S2 is the start symbol of grammar G2 and SU is the start symbol of grammar GU. So PU will contain all productions of grammar G1 and G2 and these productions also SU derives S1 and SU derives S2. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose there is a grammar G1. There is a context free grammar G1, right? Whose language is L1, right? Now, these are the productions in grammar G1. S1 derives A, S1 A, S1 derives B, S1 B, S1 derives empty string. Now there is another context free grammar G2 whose language is L2. L2 is definitely a context free language. L1 is also a context free language because their grammar is context free grammar. Now these are the productions of grammar G2. S2 derives A, S2 B, S2 derives empty string. Now since L1 and L2 are context free language, their union that is L1 union L2 will also be a context free language. Now we have to define its grammar. Let GU be the grammar of this language L1 union L2. So it will contain all productions of grammar G1 and G2. That is S1 derives A, S1 A, S1 derives B, S1 B, S1 derives empty string, S2 derives a as to B as to derives empty string and it will also contain these productions as derives as one as derives as two right where as is the start symbol of grammar GU as one is the start symbol of grammar G1 and as two is the start symbol of grammar G2 now next property is if L1 and L2 are context free languages then L1 L2 is also a context free language that is context free languages are closed under concatenation. 
Now suppose there is a context-free language L1 whose grammar is G1 defined by the quadruple V1, T1, P1, S1. And there is another context-free language L2 whose grammar is G2 and G2 is defined by the quadruple V2, T2, P2, S2. Right. Now since L1 and L2 are context-free languages therefore L1, L2 will also be a context-free language. Now we have to define its grammar. To define its grammar, first of all, the set V1 and V2 should be disjoint. If they are not disjoint, then rename the variables to make them disjoint. Set V1 and V2 should be disjoint. Now let GC is the grammar of language L1, L2, right? Which is defined by the quadruple VC, TC, PC, SC. L1, L2 is a context-free language and GC is its grammar. Now, GC, grammar GC will contain all variables of grammar G1 and G2 and a variable SC which is the start symbol of grammar GC. Grammar GC will contain all terminals of grammar G1 and G2. So TC will be equal to T1 union T2. And GC will contain all productions of grammar G1 and G2. And a production SC derives S1, S2, where SC is the start symbol of grammar GC, S1 is the start symbol of grammar G1, S2 is the start symbol of grammar G2. Right. Now suppose there is a context-free language L1 whose grammar is G1. Now these are the productions of grammar G1. S1 derives A, S1, A. S1 derives B, S1, B. S1 derives empty string. Now there is another context-free language L2 whose grammar is G2. And G2 contains these production. S2 derives A, S2, B. S2 derives empty string. Now since L1 and L2 are context-free languages, Therefore, L1, L2 will also be a context-free language. Let its grammar is GC. So, it will contain all productions of grammar G1 and G2. Right. And it will also contain a production SC derives S1, S2, where SC is the start symbol of grammar GC, S1 is the start symbol of grammar G1, and S2 is the start symbol of grammar G2. Next property is if L1 is a context free language, then L1 clean is also a context free language. Now, suppose L1 is a context free language whose grammar is G1, defined by the quadruple V1, T1, P1, S1. Now, we have to define the grammar of context free language L1 clean. Since L1 is a context-free language, L1 clean will also be a context-free language. That its grammar is G star, which is defined by the quadruple VTPS. Grammar G star will contain all variables of grammar G1 and S, which is the start symbol of grammar G star. Grammar G star will contain all terminals of grammar G1. Here T equals to T1. It means G star and G1 have same terminals. Right. G star will contain all productions of grammar G1 and these productions. S derives S1 s and s derives empty string where s is the start symbol of grammar g star s1 is the start symbol of grammar g1 right it would be more clear after this example suppose there is a context free language l which contains the strings of this form it is parent b is parent now we have to find the grammar of context-free language L clean. Now see, first of all, the grammar of language L. L is the context-free language. 
then suppose its grammar is G. Then G will contain these productions. S1 derives A, S1 B, S1 derives empty string. Right. Now, suppose the grammar of alkaline is G star. Then G star will contain all productions of grammar G. Right. And these productions. S derives S1. S. S derives empty string. Where S is the start symbol of grammar G star. And S1 is the start symbol of grammar G. Right. If L1 and L2 are two context free languages. Then L1 intersection L2 is not a context free language that is context free languages are not closed under intersection next property is if l1 is a context free language then l1 complement is not a context free language that is context free languages are not closed under complementation and uh, next property is if uh, l1 is a context free language and l2 is a regular language then l1 intersection l2 is a context free language thank you very much